Hello and welcome to my Today I want to talk about a common skin condition that is scalp folliculitis. So are you looking for a homeopathic treatment for scalp folliculitis? So basically in this video we will talk about the homeopathic medicines which has been successfully used for the treatment of scalp folliculitis. So let's talk about this skin condition scalp folliculitis. So firstly, I would like to explain what exactly is the meaning of scalp folliculitis. So folliculitis is a common inflammatory skin condition that affects your hair follicles. It is usually caused by the fungus or the bacterial infection. The infection occurs when you damage your hair follicles, which are the openings in your skin that holds the root of your hairs. This can affect any part of your body with hair, including your scalp. This condition is not contagious, so you can, so you can usually treat it by using homeopathic medicines. Okay, so this is the exact meaning of scalp folliculitis. Now next we'll talk about the clinical features. That is one of the symptoms of scalp folliculitis. So folliculitis initially causes small red bumps that look similar to acne breakouts. Over time, it may spread to the other follicles and bumps may get larger and more inflamed. So let's talk about the symptoms. So first and the foremost symptom is clusters of tiny red bumps on your scalp that may have white tip. Next, sores with yellowish brown scabs and sores that drain pus. Itching will be there, burning or the stinging sensation, pain or tenderness. So these are the symptoms of scalp folliculitis. Now next we'll talk about the causes. What is the basic etiology that leads to scalp folliculitis? So let's talk about the causes. So as I have already said, folliculitis is caused by damage to your hair follicles which leaves them vulnerable to infection causes bacteria and fungus. So many things can damage the hair follicles on your, sc on your scalp such as frequently scratching or rubbing your head, tugging on or twisting your hairs, wearing hairstyles that pull your hairs such as tight ponytails or braids, frequently wearing hats, shaving your head, wearing sports helmets, using a lot of hair products which can build up over time. So several things so, so several things can also increase your risk of developing scalp folliculitis including having acne or dermatitis, being a male with a coarse or the curly hairs, having a weakened immune system due to an underlying condition, taking certain medications for acne include steroid creams or antibiotic therapy. So these are the main causes which leads to scalp folliculitis. Now next we'll talk about the homeopathic medicines or you can say the treatment for scalp folliculitis. So let's talk about the homeopathic medicines now. So first and the foremost homeopathic medicine which has been successfully used for the treatment of scalp folliculitis is sulfur. So let's talk about it. This is beneficial homeopathic medicine for scalp folliculitis with red pimples. Sulfur is a very effective homeopathic treatment for scalp folliculitis where pimples appear on your scalp. In such cases, there is dryness, there is itching and burning on the scalp and the symptoms get worsened in the warm environment and on, wash, and, on, and on washing the scalp. Okay, now let's talk about the second medicine for scalp folliculitis that is Silesia. Silesia is a highly recommended homeopathic medicine for scalp folliculitis with pustular eruptions. Silesia gives great result in case of scalp folliculitis where pustules develop. It is a very good medicine for folliculitis conditions with suppurations. It helps in absorbing pus and quick healing. The eruptions may be itchy and the itch worsens during the day. 
patient may also see an increase in sweating. Now the third medicine for scalp folliculitis is calcarea sulf. So this homeopathic medicine for the scalp folliculitis with yellowish discharge in, in the eruptions. Okay, the eruptions heal slowly and form a yellowish crust. This remedy is very beneficial for the scalp folliculitis in children. Now the fourth medicine for the scalp folliculitis is graphitis. Graphitis is useful homeopathic treatment for scalp folliculitis where there is primary features is sticky discharge from the eruptions. The eruptions are moist rather than dry. These eruptions may also be very itchy and washing the scalp may give temporary relief. Now our fifth medicine for scalp folliculitis is mesarium. So mesarium works wonder in the case of scalp folliculitis where the unique feature is the formation of a thick crust on the scalp. Thick discharges may get collected under these crusts. It may also have intolerable itching and ooze a gluey discharge. The patient's hair may get matted due to discharge, that is plica polonica. Now let's talk about the sixth medicine, that is Merxol. So Merxol is an excellent homeopathic medicine for scalp folliculitis, where the eruptions have an offensive blood stain discharge. There may be an intense itching on the scalp and in most cases symptoms get worsens at night. Now the next medicine that is oleander. Oleander is a very effective homeopathic treatment for scalp folliculitis in burning of the scalp is a prominent feature. Soreness is felt with even slight friction in the scalp. Now the next medicine is hypersulf. So hypersulf is a very beneficial homeopathic treatment for the scalp folliculitis where the major complaint is eruptions on the scalp along with pain and sensitivity. The pain get worsens with the slightest touch and the scalp is very sensitive to cold. Now our last but not the least Ninth homeopathic medicine for the scalp folliculitis is arsenic album. So arsenic album work well in cases where hair fall occur with scalp folliculitis, hair fall is in circular patches and dandruff occur as dry scales. So these are some homeopathic medicines which has been successfully used for the treatment of scalp folliculitis. So that's all in this video we have discussed about scalp folliculitis and what is the ultimate treatment for permanent relief that is homeopathic treatment for scalp folliculitis. So that's all for today. See you guys in our next video. Till then stay connected with us for more videos like this. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below and yes, press the bell icon for more updates. Stay safe and stay healthy and yes, thanks for watching this video.